Good morning and welcome to News Watch Today. I'm Cameron Lee. And I'm Lilia Parks. European oysters are given a chance at life. And the United Auto Workers strike is making an impact. Aubrey Jackson is here with your forecast and Preston Rosenberg has the latest in sports news. This is News Watch Today. Thanks for joining us this morning. Right now we have our weather anchor to give us a first look at the weather. Yeah, we finally hit October. Is our cooler weather approaching? Awesome, thanks guys. So as we have seen this last few days, um, cooler weather is definitely coming. So our current conditions right now are showers with a um, nice degree of 64 degrees. So it is, it is nice and cool right now, um, but the humidity is up to 99%. So be prepared for that. While later today, we can expect um, some more showers with sun later in the afternoon and a high of 75 degrees and the humidity will stay about the same. Thanks, back to you guys. Thanks, Aubrey. I am certainly ready for the cooler weather and that fall weather to appear. I know, I'm so excited for all things fall, pumpkin spice lattes, sweaters, fires. All of it. Um, but I guess we can find out more during Aubrey's full forecast. The number of available jobs in the United States unexpectedly grew in the month of August. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were an estimated 9.6 million open jobs. This growth follows a three-month decline and shows how the labor market is building its strength. Some of the biggest jumps in postings were in professional and business services, finance, and non-durable goods manufacturing. Meanwhile, the number of new hires went up ever so slightly from July, but along with that was the number of workers who quit their jobs. Layoffs held steady throughout all of it. Threatened European oysters now have a better chance at life, a newly created conservation reef in the UK. Off the coast of Whitburn, located in northern England, a team of conservationists spent all of their time last week carefully depositing over 750 tons of old stones and scallop shell onto the seabed. Doing this formed the foundation for the new underwater marine ecosystem that measured about the size of a soccer field. That project manager said the team is optimistic that the 10,000 oysters they placed there will thrive, reproduce, and grow on the new reef over the coming months. Across the UK, wild native oysters have declined in number by more than 95% since the 1800s, which is thought to be caused by pollution issues. The oysters are beneficial to the marine coastal environment because they can filter at least a bathtub's worth of water a day to improve water quality. On Friday, September 29th, the EU World Changers Club hosted their annual bonfire. To start the night off, they began the night in worship led by Madeline Crane, setting the tone for the rest of the night. During worship, they showed a PowerPoint slideshow that displayed different countries from around the world, and students were able to pray over these countries. Cameron Burt discussed the impact of this event. Hi. I'm Cameron Burt, World Changers Director, and today we are having a bonfire. And in this bonfire, we're gonna have over 18 missionaries here sharing their experiences of being on the field and sharing their heart with students. And honestly, it's more so about a time of sharing the passion it is for the lost and seeing them come to know Jesus. We are so excited for tonight, and we get to eat such good s'mores while doing it. After worship, Cameron introduced 18 missionaries Students then were grouped with missionaries to get to know them a little bit better. Students were also able to make their own s'mores at the bonfire and enjoy the hot cocoa provided by the club. The World Changers Club meets bi-weekly. For more information, contact director Cameron Burt or attend one of their meetings. To stay up to date for the club, follow them on Instagram at eu.worldchangers. The United Auto Workers strike had detrimental economic impacts, costing $3.95 billion in the first two weeks. Upwards of 18,000 workers from General Motors, Stellantis, Ford, and GM are now on the picket lines, making the second week costlier than the first. However, many of the workers on strike or who have been laid off could be eligible for the union strike pay of $500 a week. The companies lost $1.12 billion, while suppliers lost an estimated $1.29 billion, and dealers and customers lost a total of $1.2 billion. 
Evangel's Behavioral and Social Science Department has been awarded a $15,000 grant. The grant is from the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education for the purpose of promoting school-based mental health. With this grant of the Department of Behavioral and Social Sciences, gave out $12,000 in scholarships to social work students. Professor of Social Work and Field Coordinator Professor Flores applied for the grant back in 2023. Professor Flores has high hopes for the future in addition to receiving this grant. We would love to see more people go into school-based mental health, whether that's school social work, school counseling, um, and also we would love to see our social work program grow as a result of the recruiting that we did um, and just educating what it is and what it isn't. And we would love to see more students choose social work now that they know what it isn't and a little more about what it is. Overall, the department's new funding should increase their ability to work more efficiently with their students. Up next, Tesla has seen a drop in sales. And we'll have a special guest come to talk about this semester's Harvest Fest. We'll hear more about that when we get back from this break. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for mental health and other resources. Call 211 or visit 211.org. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. What a disaster. <laughs> You're a disaster. This is a disaster. You can't be ready for every little disaster, but you can prepare for a big one. Make an emergency plan today. My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that I would never be able to get over it and that my kids wouldn't have a father. I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. For the longest time, fear held me back from ultimately being who I wanted to. I had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. After a previous boost in auto sales, Tesla saw a drop in sales recently. Tesla reported that they delivered 435,000 vehicles last quarter. Now that's down from the 466,000 it delivered the quarter before, which is 26,000 less than analysts were expecting this quarter. Despite the loss, Tesla said it still expects to hit its target of 1.8 million vehicles for the year. This requires a 9% increase in their sales. Tesla has been cutting prices on vehicles to reach these aggressive growth rates. CEO Elon Musk says it's largely to battle rising interest rates, but the company is also facing an increased competition from other manufacturers offering electric vehicles. Whatever ends up happening, this will be an interesting year in terms of sales for Tesla. Cameron Lee is standing by with a special guest. Cameron? Thank you, Lilia. Activities Board is preparing to put on their annual Harvest Fest event, and with me today is AB Assistant Director Cami Hausman. Thank you for joining us today, Cammie. Yes, it's so good to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, Cammie, tell me a little bit about the Activities Board. What is the purpose behind it? Maybe the mission statement as a whole. Yeah. Activities Board puts on events uh, to encourage community and a sense of belonging around campus. Um, we do our very best to inhabit and embody community. Um, that is why we're here, and we really love hosting events for campus. Yeah. So as the AB Assistant Director, what does that entail? Like, what does your role kind of look like? My role is I manage the COMAs, which are the event teams um, that put on the sections for AB. Um, so we have decor, we have marketing, we have sketch, and we have video. And I just manage those teams and make sure they're staying on track. Okay. So with events, like, what does that kind of look like when you manage how they work? So I specifically am over Harvest Fest and Spring Fling. 
So I am managing those teams in the sense of making sure they're on track and on schedule with the decor pieces, their PR pieces, um, sketch and video, making sure their scripts are good and that they are on track for filming and rehearsing. Awesome. So you said one of your events is Harvest Fest, mm -hmm. and that actually is one of AB's next events coming mm -hmm. up. So kind of tell us, what does Harvest Fest um, mean? What's the tradition behind it, and why do we have it? Yes. Harvest Fest is our variety show. So like I said, we have sketches, we have videos, we have decor pieces, and we have marketing. So Sketch puts on live shows, live skits during Harvest Fest, so they are on stage live. Video creates videos um, throughout the entire semester that are played during Harvest Fest. And then decor is the coma that has pieces put out that kind of show what we are about. And then marketing is our social media, PR, public relations team, um, and they get the word out about Harvest Fest. Awesome. So how long does it take to really plan out an event like this and kind of what all goes into it? So we start planning Harvest Fest in September, like early September when we have our first retreat. Um, we come up with our theme. Um, the coma start thinking about what they're going to be doing during um, the time spent. So we are from September when we have our first retreat all the way until show day. We are working on Harvest Fest. Awesome. And where's the event taking place and who all can go to it? The event is in, at the Glois Theater uh, here in town. It's downtown. And Anyone is welcome. So all of the student body, parents, friends that don't go to campus here, um, and children of all ages are allowed to come. Awesome. Well, I know the, the theme reveal is happening tomorrow. I know you can't say too much, but you think you can give us maybe a clue or a hint as to what it might be? I would love to. I would love to. But we are unable to say <laughs> until tomorrow at reveal. So you should come to chapel to see what it is. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Cami. It was great to learn about the Activities Board and Harvest Fest as a whole. Let's go back to the desk with Lilia and Aubrey. Thanks, Cameron. So, Aubrey, I absolutely love these purple cloud earrings that you're wearing. Is that a clue? Are we going to see some rain or clouds this week? I definitely wore them on purpose, seeing as how it has been raining for these last few days, and we can expect some cooler weather coming. So. October is looking like it's going to be more fall, um, so we'll definitely get to that later on in my full forecast. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for help with food, health care, and other resources. 211, how can I help you? Call 211 or visit 211.org. 211, get connected, get help. not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff, like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. First night here, but Amy seems cool. <laughs> Leading down to the river. <laughs> I am blind, but I need not see. What do you think? I know this road mm. is there for me. If I'm really free, take me down to the river and 
The Zemninsky Global Rough Diamond Index shows that the stones are the cheapest that they've been in a year. This drastic decline in rough diamond price follows an all-time high demand for natural diamonds during the pandemic. Researchers state that many people turned to shopping because conventional entertainment means were shut down during the pandemic. Now they're adjusting their spending away from luxury goods. However, the jewelry stores will keep their high prices. Retailers tend to keep those fairly steady, even when the cost of rough diamonds drops. Well, honestly, the diamonds sound exciting to be showing off. I would yes. love to buy some. However, I'm hoping that the fall weather is coming and I can just hide my neck with my sweaters. Exactly. I love sweaters and I'm so excited to wear them. Mm -hmm. uh, Aubrey, what can you tell us about that? Awesome. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Lilia. So we are definitely going to see a little bit of those cooler temperatures that you guys are hoping for. Let's take a look at our full forecast. So our current conditions outside right now is rainy with a nice um, temperature of 64 degrees, but that humidity is up to 99%, so be prepared for that. Today we are going to see some showers with some sun in the afternoon and about a high of 75, and the humidity is going to stay high. Um, but we can see in the satellites that this rain that we've been having is moving forward. So it is going to be cooler, but also sunny. So the precipitation is going to lower as the week progresses. Let's take a look at our radar. So on our radar, you can see some of this rain that we have had um, come past our Springfield, Missouri area, and it is um, moving east and then some of this part over here is moving north. But we can see that this first cold front is starting to end, and this second cold front over here is starting to move downwards towards Missouri. So um, it has not fully formed yet, so we're not sure exactly what that brings, but we can prepare to see a little bit of cooler temperatures coming down um, from here in northern North Dakota, a little bit Montana, and coming down towards our Springfield area. Now. Our Missouri temperatures have been pretty even all around. We can see here in Springfield um, an average of 63 degrees, um, and then a little bit south we have about 62 degrees. So um, pretty even across the entire state and very nice temperatures in the low 60s. For our national forecast, we can see some of that rain that has come through um, from Texas all the way to Minnesota, and we can see the Springfield area um, was pretty wet these last few days, but hopefully that rain will dissipate throughout the week. Our six day forecast does include um, sun coming out through the week, and then the temperatures um, are pretty even around highs of low 60s and then high 60s around Sunday to low 70s, and finally Wednesday with a high of 78 degrees and more sun. That's it for Weather Watch. I'm Aubrey. Back to you guys. Thanks, Aubrey. You know, I'm not too excited about all the rain that we've been experiencing in my experience in the next day or so. Right. However, the fact that we've got those high 60s, low 70s, now that is exciting news. Exactly. The temperature, perfect. The precipitation, I could do without. <laughs> Just around the corner, Preston Rosenberg will be here to give us the latest in sports. This and more when we return. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for help with food, health care, and other resources. 211, 
How can I help you? Call 211 or visit 211.org. 211. Get connected. Get help. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. LeBron James says that he's dedicating this basketball season to his 18-year-old son who suffered cardiac arrest this past July. Bronny James, his son, is said to be doing well in rehab and looks forward to playing college ball again. His father says the family is excited to see what their teen's future holds. Even after all he has endured, Bronny James is widely considered a first-round prospect for next year's NBA draft. His dad says he's not sure if this season will be his last, but previously he expressed a desire to play in the pros with his son. It's kind of crazy to think that LeBron James has been playing long enough and will play long enough to actually play in the NBA with his son. Exactly. I mean, imagine them together. What a legacy that they're creating. It really would be. Preston, what else is going on in the world of sports this week? Cameron, we got so much to catch up on, so let's dive into it. FIFA announced on Wednesday the 2030 World Cup locations. The host countries are Morocco, Spain, and Portugal. South America placed a bid to host the entire tournament, but settled for the opening games. This will be the mark of FIFA World Cup's 100th anniversary. Los Angeles Rams receiver Cooper Cup returned to practice on Wednesday. Cup entered the season on the injured reserve lift after suffering a hamstring injury in the preseason. Cup is seeking a Sunday return with a testing matchup against Philadelphia. The Rams have 21 days to decide whether to activate their star receiver. Valor Women's Golf plays fourth in the KCAC match play. The Valor dominated the first round with a 4-1 victory, but Kansas Wesleyan and Bethany bounced back strong with a final round 3-2 Yotes win. Susie Blackwell was a key standout for the Valor, winning all three of her matches. The MLB playoffs kicked off with a bang. Since 2004, the Minnesota Twins have yet to win a playoff game. Until Tuesday, when Royce Lewis led the team to a 3-1 victory with two home runs. The Twins will now advance to the ALDS after a win on Wednesday. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Preston. You know, it's kind of crazy to me to think that we've got so many sports going on right now. We've got the MLB in their playoffs. We've got NFL just now kicking off the season. And we're also talking about golf and all these other things. It's hard to kind of keep up. Exactly. There's so much going on. But I think each sport deserves to be highlighted individually. I'm so excited for what they have. When we get back, a new Barbie has hit the market. And Aubrey is with us for one final look at the forecast. All this and more when we return. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoky. It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good stir. Next, another drink. Next and finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh, my bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Thank you. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love.
Rock and Roll Hall of Fame singer-songwriter Stevie Nicks now has her own Barbie. It is part of Mattel's Barbie music series, the Stevie Barbie, includes some of the artist's signature items. Things like her smoky eyes and bangs, ribboned tambourine, and golden moon necklace. The look was inspired by the outfit the former member of the Fleetwood Mac wore on the cover of her band's legendary 1977 album, Rumors. The Stevie Barbie was available for pre-order for $55, but it is already sold out. Nix posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Monday that the doll means the world to her. The music icon was the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, both with Fleetwood Mac and as a solo artist. You know, I've seen the Barbie movie. I've owned personally when I was little a couple Barbies, but I'm not too into the whole Barbie thing. How about you? I know, growing up I had the dream house and I had the cars, but I could never really get super into them. Uh, Aubrey, what can you tell us about this next week's weather? Awesome, thanks guys. So we can see the six day forecast. It is actually going to lighten up on the rain. So we can see the temperatures are staying even with the highs around um, high 60s to low 70s, except for a little bit colder this weekend on Saturday. The, it's going to be low of 39 and a high of 61 degrees. So if you don't like that kind of weather, I would make sure to stay inside. But we can be sure that um, it's going to be cool and sunny. Back to you guys. Thanks, Aubrey. That's all for us today. I'm Cameron Lee. And I'm Lilia Parks. This has been Newswatch Today. Please join us next week. For more on EU TV and the latest Evangel news, go to euvalormedia.com.